Good afternoon. I am Dr. Derek Malachik, Applied Low Brass Faculty here at Iowa Western Community College. And today we will be talking about the second of the two etudes, the lyrical etude, for the 2019 Nebraska All-State Audition Music for Trombone. This etude can be found on page 30 of the Voxman Book for Select Studies. And this is the first time that the state of Nebraska is using these etudes, but that is a good thing, as in there are a number of different resources online, even if you don't find mine as helpful as you'd like. This particular etude is written by Doom, and as I said, it's G flat. And this is a slow, lyrical etude, meant more so as a vocalese than simply as a trombone etude. So, by meaning that as a, by saying that as a vocalese, that means what we need to do when we play this is play like we are singing. So think about how a singer would approach this in terms of phrasing, in terms of spacing, in terms of breathing, in terms of dynamics. And dynamics are very crucial on this etude as there are significant dynamic changes between pianos, fortes, etc., with dramatic crescendos and decrescendos involved as well. I've marked the tempo at quarter note equals 68. I believe that this is the ideal tempo for taking this and really bringing out the style that this piece needs to have. We will stop this etude shortly after the rallentando, five lines from the end. That is where the Nebraska Music Educators Association has designated to be as the end of that particular etude. Watch breathing on this, breathe as a singer, think as a singer. For example, I will now sing the first four lines and then play them to you. And note how I go from not just from being that up, but taking that role of a singer to the trombone. Da, 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 da. comparison on trombone. One other thing I would like to mention is the triplet sixteenth notes. On paper, these look very scary because they are fast, but the key to playing them is to play with a very light, smooth tongue. Ya-da-da-da, da-da-da-da. It'd be more of a do tongue rather than a ta tongue for this particular sound. <laughs> bring out the separation on the next two notes before we have the phrase slash slur marking again. Grace notes are also, are also used in this piece. Think of grace notes as more of an afterthought rather than simply an added note. <laughs> You do not need to really emphasize them a whole lot. In fact, I would recommend you don't. Make sure that the time is still very consistent there. Watch the real entendos. This is where you can slow down the piece, create a little bit more dramatic effect. Remember, it's not just simply an audition. It's a performance as well. How you perform the etude is what they're going to be looking for. I will now demonstrate this etude for you on my trombone. Ha 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 ha! 
other thing that I want to mention with this etude is for the longer tones, the half notes, use vibrato. For vibrato on the trombone, it is lip vibrato, not slide. Slide would apply if you were playing a 1940s jazz piece. Lip is the most important for this. And when I emphasize lip, I tend to use a little bit more of the lower, of the lower jaw rather than the upper jaw, creating more of a triplet vibrato, thinking of a triplet pulse such as this. Be mindful that when you are using lip vibrato, it can also reshape the pitch of the horn. This is where you have to just direct the airflow consistently and not change the pitch or change embouchure while you are applying the lip vibrato. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck on your auditions, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.